Meergad and the camp happened because we decided not to expand here. So, my wife and I have been mulling over Meergad for the last 12 years. We wanted to create something with the feel of our rural architecture, the mud finish. Um, and we thought of it so much that we were absolutely sure when we started construction, we were absolutely sure of what we wanted. And the location, it's built on a small sand dune as you saw today. Uh, it was just asking for a little fort to be built today. And that's what happened. Uh, the wilderness camp is a little older. It is uh, six years old and Mirgad is three. So Mirgad, the inspiration has come from the rural architecture of Marwa. Everything that we have used in Mirgad, I mean my wife and I have done the entire thing ourselves. We didn't have an architect to start with, but uh, in the end it, it just fell on us. We finished it, everything in the interiors of my, my wife Rashmi has done. Um, but everything that she's used, and we've used in Mirgad is look, the furnishings, the fabrics, the floor coverings, the artifacts, the lamps, the lights, everything. Is all Jodhpur and West of Jodhpur. We haven't even gone to Jaipur for me. So it's a tribute to the craft and craftsmanship of the region of Marwa. The camp, the wilderness camp is a wilderness experience. The wilderness camp complements Rohit beautifully. It becomes a great extension of activities from here. So the safaris that we do end up there and people get to overnight there. The other important activity here on offer is the riding. I have horses, we are reading uh, the Marwadi. And we do have some of the best stock of the Marwadi in the country. We are actually committed to the preservation, protection and promotion of the people. But the rides between our properties are very, very popular. So the riding from here to, to the camp, we do it over a day, we're doing the village safari on horseback doing a nice picnic lunch and then reaching the camp and overnight in there. Uh, so that is the camp. Mirgad of course is an uh, understated luxury in the in the wilderness. It is, it is really our dream. Uh, it's a dream realized. And we kept it small simply because we felt more than 20 people would be a crowd. And that's the reason for having a nine room inventory there. And I don't think it's ever going to change. And what's the size of each room? We've got about 1700 square feet of space, private space for every suite. So that includes the courtyard and the swimming pool deck and the plunge pool deck. And the first floor rooms, the private terrace. And 